Welcome, dear students of Standard 9 to another session of uh, English. Uh, the first part we have seen was 8 and now the ninth part of the second half of the lesson. In the last session we saw that there was a request by the lost child to ask his parents to help or to make him sit in the roundabout. But he doesn't get any reply. There was no reply. He turned to look at his parents. They were not there ahead of him. He turned to look at either side. They were not there. He looked behind. There was no sign of them. So he watches everywhere. Okay, where is where are my parents? He doesn't get them. A full deep cry rose within the dry throat and sudden jerk of his body. A full deep cry rose. You can imagine a child whose parents are lost. Put yourself in the child and you will come to know. Your parents are not around you. In those days where there was no mobile and uh, no easy access to of communication. So with a jerk of his body, you know, see the action also with the jerk, you know, he cries and runs when he, when he stood, crying in real fear, real fear. Fear is real of a child losing his pet. So this is the way, you know, he used ornamental language, you'll see further. Also. Mother, father, tears roll down from his eyes, hot and fierce, definitely hot and how many of the tears are full of fears, huh? Fierce means, you know, Dharavna and uh, hot, you know, Garam Hutta, you know, the eye drops. That uh, he illustrates so nicely, you know. His flushed face was convulsed with fear. Flush means red, becomes red, you know, out of fear. And uh, convulsed with fear. Convulsed means uh, he was, you know, crying without control of his body. Convulsions he was facing. And, Panic stricken, he is panic. Panicking means he is not uh, he's fearful. He ran to one side first, to other side, here, there, he runs. Heather and heather, that also is the form of looking, you're running here and there, in all directions, knowing from where to, not knowing where to go. Where to search his parents? He is in despair. Mother, father, he wailed. Wail means crying with a lot of sad and, uh, you know, out of, uh, what you call it, deep, you know, uh, that uh, feeling, that of loss. That is in a nice display. Where his yellow turban came untied and his clothes became muddy. Yellow turban, and the turban is worn around the head, and that you know the pattern of wearing it, you know, it falls, uh, it gets disturbed, then the the end end starts coming down, and then the whole turban gets uh, untied, untied, and his clothes become muddy. Muddy means uh, full of mud. Having down to and fro into the range of uh, running for a while, he stood defeated. Is cries suppressed into sobs now he started wailing you know you know very uh, hurtful way he was hurt because so much because of his you know this loss at little little distance on the green grass he could see through his filmy eyes men and women talking see filmy eyes now here the conscious and unconscious mind the conscious mind is towards the search of his parents and the unconscious mind is visualizing the real thing but it's filmy filmy is always you know unreal you know that way to he hear the filmy eyes has a lot of implications he tried to look intently towards the patches of bright yellow clothes but there was no sign of his parents and uh, the mother along with these people. Maybe the clothes, they were wearing the yellow and this yellow clothes, if he finds and searches in the crowd, maybe he might get his parents, he thinks that way, who seem to laugh and just talk for the sake of laughing and talking. 
for the sake of that was something unreal to them importance now was the search of his parents other things were all not unrealistic for him he ran quickly again he ran towards a shrine to which people seemed to be crowding always in olden days there were big temples over there not shrines of them there the fair in the open ground in front of that temple were used as the fair and uh, that was had a spiritual in, uh, implication when, when you have a uh, good the fair it's not always enjoyment always but you go to the fair to you know appease the deity over there in the temple who can help you out if any problem occurs every little inch of space there was congested with men but he ran through the people's legs he saw lingering mother father so he running any you know crowd is there always you know a temple is there a lot of people you know want to move into the temple and at that time no space for a small child to enter and to search this parents near the entrance of the, however the crowd became very quick thick men jostled each other making space to go inside the temple first heavy men with flashing murderous eyes and hefty shoulders the big man with hefty shoulders and how he displays all these words and you know makes us visualize you know murderous eyes eyes that are you know that will be you know murder someone that was the which anger in that you know near the entrance of the temple however <clears throat> the crowd became very thick so here he was not able to make his way into the temple because of this uh, lot many people he might have been trampled in the foot kuchal jata ho you know but this people ke pair pair of kini chhota bachcha had he not shrieked at the highest pitch of his voice father mother to cheek lagata hai shrieking means shasha very shrill voice that comes out you know to make others notice you So that he does. A man in the surging crowd heard his cry, stooping with great difficulty, lifted him on his arms. In the crowd, you want to lift, more mixed space where there is no space for standing, and you want to lean down and take the child up. That is something not easy, and with great difficulty he does that. So that man is asking him, "How did you get here, child?" Whose baby are you? The man asked, as he stared off the mass. He, Jaga says, you know, from these people standing in the shrine, he moves away, clear to the mass, you know, steered clear, steered clear means अपनी जगह बना कि वो वो you know crowds अलग हो गया. The child wept more bitterly than ever, ever now and only, only cried, I want my mother, I want my father. The men cried to soothe him by taking him to a roundabout. So, if a little child is in a roundabout, he will be silent. He will stop crying. Will you have a ride on the horse? Will you have a ride on the horse? He will stop crying. Will you have a ride on the horse? He also asked him, "We want to to sit sit on the horse and you know get yourself amused." He gently asked as he approaching the ring. Then he went ahead. There was a approaching ring. He means around space. The child stood tall, thousand shrill sobs, and he only shouted, "I want my mother! I want my father!" So the contrasting thing here happening. Right? When he was with his parents, he was always asking of all these things. Now, when the stranger or the man who is unknown to him, he is asking uh, to get these things for him. At the time, he is. not accepting it so these is being highlighted you know why this child is doing that hana i want my father the men headed towards a place where the snake charmer still played on the flute to the swing cobra very early i went with his parents listen to that nice music child earlier that man Uh, this the uh, music uh, he loved it and he wanted to stand there but now he pleaded when that strange person is telling to listen to the music but the child shut his ears with fingers and shouted his 
double pitched strain i want my mother i want my father he closes i don't want to hear this music of this cobra and the man the man fiddling with that you know the fungi i don't want that the man took him near the balloons thinking the bright colors of the balloons would distract the child's mind and quieten him hmm? would you like a rainbow colored balloon he persuasively asked the resource ko puncha ki you want samjhate hue you know making him understand that what do you want this colorful balloons see the same thing he was when he was with his parents he wanted to this all balloons which are now flying up upwards on the pole of this balloon man but now when the stranger is asking he saying no the child turned his eyes away from the flying balloons and just sobbed i want my mother i want my father the man still trying to make the child happy bore into the gate where the flower seller sat so moving further the flower seller the reverse order look can you smell those nice flowers child would you like a garland to put around your neck the child turned his nose away from the basket and reiterated his sob reiterated his again he started crying that shows that he is not interested in the garland also now i want my mother i want my thinking to humor his disconsolate charge by gift of sweets to humor his humor to your own eye usko so hansi mein no he is trying to take his own humor he not he is not understanding the child what he wants is this consolate charge this consolate charge means he is he wants the, his charge what he wants is non consolable type of uh, thing he cannot uh, the man cannot search his and give the father and mother to him so that is charged by gift of you know he sweets he then says you know you, instead of that a father and mother calling you eat the sweets the man took him to the counter of the sweet shop what sweets would you like child what you will like yes the child turned his face from the sweet shop and only sobbed i want my father i want my mother so you know mulkraj anand this written in ornamental language a simple thing but you know how the attitude of the child changes when the unknown person with the unknown person's parents that is highlighted where so with this we complete our lesson and the first part and the second part together understand and read one time and write the question answers given at the end of the lesson see you in the next class till then goodbye